Good afternoon, YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing a series that has been absent from the channel for a while, namely because I just wanted to focus on other content and really kind of understand what it was, what was the intention behind this series. And on this channel, it's mainly a channel focused on power building, so strength training and bodybuilding content. However, if you look into the bio, I say that the process of creating your best self, of creating your strongest self, the development of strength size and spirit starts where you stand that is the mission of this channel and this series is more so to attack it was more so to uh explain the spirit of power building now when it comes to the mental fortitude or the spirituality and all that that comes from the gym the reason why i prefer i like to look at it from that lens is for a couple of reasons first the gym is essentially the easiest and safest place to practice self-imposed restriction and hardship, self-imposed challenge. And you could argue that other aspects in your life can also take on this responsibility, and they can. But generally speaking, for most people, it is the application of themselves into creating something out of themselves that is going to be the most common way that people actually, uh, I would say, push themselves or something of that nature and that is useful now when it comes to this type of imagery this type of metaphor especially with the gym i have some of somewhat of an adverse relationship with it namely because i think it's very strange and this is um coming from like I was in the military and I didn't do anything like super fantastic in my military career and my career and my job in the military wasn't um I guess that uh like I was a poke I was a person of personnel other than grunt but regardless I had a lot of uh friends coworkers, and comrades or <laughs> uh who were you know ranger like ranger tabbed or actually went to ranger school infantry units I was I worked um very closely with some of them and I also was very close friends with some of them and generally speaking we always have this kind of like weird feeling when someone adopts that kind of high school athlete college athlete kind of mindset where they go into the gym and they're a, and they are a warrior they are a warrior because they go to the gym they are a lion because they go to a gym and we kind of generally think that's kind of uh, strange and reason being is because dude you're in a fucking gym like no one's going there to kill you you're fighting against yourself and that is a worthwhile battle but it is one that is very different from actually being involved in a war um so there's kind of that balance that needs to be struck when talking about imagery, spirituality, and using metaphor when it comes to the gym. But regardless of that, I still think that it's necessary. So, like I said, in this today's video, I'm going to be continuing that series where I talk about the spiritual spirituality in the gym or symbolism in the gym. And thus far, I've been using the uh, Christian framework to provide this, you know, seven sins um, and seven virtues of the gym. and in the series, I will also continue um, using other forms because I, I also want to learn about other um, philosophies and other, uh, I guess, doctrines, if rather, and kind of like, you know, take what is useful and present it to you. So Buddhism is on the list. Um, I have some interest in Islam, but but I <laughs> I know that's kind of touchy, and I don't want to I don't want to misrepresent misrepresent something. So and that's where I'm definitely the weakest in terms of like my spiritual knowledge, um, and also like other forms of philosophy. So Bushido, Stoicism, Stoicism. Um, I want to talk about Jung, Nietzsche, and all that like with this series. But in today's video, sorry, to, that was kind of roundabout to get to this point. We're going to be talking about the sin of lust. So, I've already explained the virtue of, one second, let me actually see um, where I left off. So last time, like we talked about wrath, we've talked about purity, we've talked about patience. Now let's talk about lust. So, when in the typical Abrahamic, Judeo-Christian um, kind of framework of things, lust is the... It's like usually referred to like you know adultery or like um, sexual desire, and 
I mean, I could, I don't want to make a whole video just telling you to don't to not stare at girls at the gym, but don't stare at girls at the gym. They know, they notice, they're not dumb. Um, like when you're in the gym, reject whammon and embrace monkey. You know, go monkey mode and just like work on like work on yourself, focus on your workout. But that's not what I'm going to be talking about in this video. When it comes to the concept of lust in the context of the gym. Lust, you want to think about it more so from, I guess, from a Buddhist perspective in which it is this attachment or identification with this passionate desire for certain things that exist in the world. And it can come in the shape of someone else's body, meaning you want to look like a pro bodybuilder. You want to have the, like, you want to feel what you think they feel as a result of having that physique. You want to have the look you want to have other people look at you as if, like every single time you walk into the gym and admire what you've accomplished and you have this mentality that is focused outside of yourself. These things will generate and perpetuate many issues for you as you continue, as you continue to work out and as you continue to lift. Lust is this misused desire for things that are supposed to sustain you, things that are supposed to fulfill you, and that is why it is a sin. The gym is meant is supposed to make you better. It's not supposed. It's something. It is something that is meant to actually make you healthier, strength, size, fitness, whatever. It's all meant to actually make you a stronger, internal and internally and externally. That is the purpose of the gym. And as soon as you kind of throw in lust into the mix, it starts to kind of muddy that and make it kind of difficult. So, lust expresses itself in the gym as comparison. On this channel, I will very commonly say, do not compare yourself to who someone else is today, compare yourself to who you were yesterday. This is one of the 12 rules for life presented by um, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. And I think that is just a generally good piece of advice because it's advice that is that has been spoken many times by many people throughout many pieces of work by many and throughout all of human history. If you do have to compare yourself though, don't compare yourself upward because that is just, I guess, irrational for, an ex for whatever reason, but uh, I'll get into that later. But also, if you have to compare yourself, compare yourself down because chances are when you compare yourself downward, so people who, are, who have not achieved what you have yet have already achieved, chances are you were them at one point. So for me, I was 300, I was 300 pounds at 16 years old. I was pure fat. I had, I was just fat, just fat. And now I'm like kind of fit, kind of fat. But generally speaking, I'm like, who knows where I'm at, right? Um, but generally speaking, I've accomplished the over a three plate bench. I've accomplished the over a five plate deadlift. I've, I'm still working on that 405 squat, but you know, like uh, hopefully if I don't re-injure my legs, my, I'll, I'll be able to get there by the end of this year. Um, I'm already repping 315, which is, um, makes me happy at least. But I've gone a lot further than where I was before, and I've gone a lot further than most people ever will in their life, just objectively speaking. Some people will never ever, will never ever push themselves to that extent, and that is not a detriment to their character. Maybe it's just then they will pursue other things. But there are things that we have all accomplished that someone either will never do, or just does not have the ability to do. So if you have the opportunity, the um, ability to work out and go to the gym, that is a gift essentially, because some people just can't do that. And some who you will think don't have that gift, don't have that ability to do so, do so anyway. Like when you see those people who lack limbs, they literally do not have arms or legs and they still work out. What does that tell you? Lust robs you of all of that and here's why because you're comparing yourself upward you want what you do not have and you lust for it because you don't think you can achieve it that is the main difference between a lust and an aim it's perfectly normal to aim upward why would you go to the gym otherwise but generally speaking the people who lust for these things internally they just do not believe they can actually reach it they do not believe that it is possible for them and because of that they are willing to throw away everything else and it motivates their dishonesty. It, they want to make up for their lack with lies. They want to use drugs. They want to 
use any type of performance enhancing supplement they want to or they just make the argument that everyone who's better than me is now unnatural and i am the pinnacle of what is naturally achievable and both of them are horrible delusions that stem from lust because you want something that you believe you cannot have you are so desperate for respect from others because you have lost the ability to respect yourself you respect you have lost the ability to respect your own effort your own results and as a re and as a result you have went down this path of lies simply because you want something you cannot have or you believe that you cannot have it some um something of that extent right so like i mentioned to aim is different than to have a desire for something when you have an aim you think to yourself what will i have to do to earn it you what do i have to do to actually work hard and achieve that goal but when you have a lust all you are thinking about is what do i have to lose to do this what do i have to let go of to do this and that's kind of why there's that meme of leaving humanity behind and you hop on the juice hop on the sauce and now you're and now you're going to claim yourself as a fake natural because you just because you want that recognition of this is what i achieved naturally um this is uh what peak performance looks like this is a result of all my hard work and deep down you know it's not and if you just clear yourself of that desire you clear yourself of that lust and instead stay true to an aim and stay true to the process in service of that aim keeping your kind of like like um chest up chin down just working 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 not really looking around you not really thinking about what someone else has accomplished and you're just working on yourself that is different from lust because lust is external you're thirsting for what someone else has achieved you're not thirsting for what you yourself can achieve that is the difference between having a desire and having an aim that is the sin of lust taking over and if you feel that way when you go to the gym you're looking around you you're thinking about what other people have accomplished and not what you are trying to accomplish through your own training and your own programming you are create you are committing a sin against yourself these sins are not sins that are going to be judged upon you are not judged like at the end of your life or by any means but it's at the end of the day when you have to look at yourself in the mirror and you come home from the gym and you look at what you've created and you and you have to say to yourself and you have to cr like critique what it was that you were thinking and doing while you're in the gym this is what it means to be judged and have committed a sin of lust so i hope you find this video useful i will be continuing making videos like this in the future my name is Carissa King, StanStrength.com. If you like the if you like the video, please like the video, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. On my website, you can find free workout programs as well as merch. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.